Well, stress is an ever-present issue in the times we're living in now, especially with all that's going on. But most people want to keep a positive attitude. And today we're talking with Carrie Watley, a licensed professional counselor who helps people cope with anxiety and stress. And Carrie, welcome to the show. Let me ask you this. What is your advice for those who feel like they're trying to stay positive but can't shake that feeling of stress? That's a great question. So stress is actually primarily a physical issue. Our brain decides how stressed we need to be based on the signals our body is sending it. So if you think about it, we call them feelings because we feel them in our bodies. When somebody is angry, they're not just intellectually angry. Their whole body feels angry. And when you're stressed, you're not just intellectually stressed. Your whole body feels stressed. And so that's a good thing to keep in mind. It's kind of like when you check your cell phone and you get a little upset if the battery is really low. You have to get in the habit of checking your own emotional charge level and finding ways to, in your own way, plug yourself in. Pause, slow down a little bit, take a deep breath, and take care of that physical component so that you have a fighting chance for your brain to be calm also. Well, sometimes you wish it was just that easy, just, just plug in. But I tell you what, you mentioned the physical state of your being. What do you do if you start feeling this stress? How can you get over it? What, what are some of those activities you can take up that will maybe monitor some of that stress? Right, right. Well, some of the activities is really being really intentional about doing the opposite of whatever it is you're feeling. There's that old saying about acting how you want to feel. So if you want to be confident, you act confident. If you want to be less angry, and when you're angry, you normally tighten your fist or clench your jaw, you would really intentionally like wiggle your fingers and try to be relaxed. You know, those things make a big difference. Very good advice. All right, Carrie Watley with the Equine Therapy Group and a licensed professional counselor. Thanks for your time. We appreciate you being on. Thank you.